Hello, hello, chat. It is I, once again, come to grace your ears with my lolling voice that puts people to sleep. Yes, indeed. And you know what? I love my function. <laughs> yep. So, happy Tuesday to you all, chat. Just gonna go on ahead and get started as soon as I collect these things away. Okay. Yep, the last time we got off, we already opened the entrance to the Lightning Temple, which is over yonder. Just gotta double check my equipment. Yeah, that's gonna help me a lot. Royal Guards and Royal Shield, and yet I already... Well, let's just get on with it. I'm just gonna stop talking. That's a rock. No available weapons. No reason for me to walk all the way over there if I could just... ...parachute my way over yonder. That over there is give donation, and I see a shrine over yonder. Southern Oasis. There, I see in a distance, the entrance. That's not Zelda. Link! Did you see that, Link? It's Zelda! What? She's gone. Where did Zelda go? Well, we already know that wasn't Zelda. I saw the lights of red pillars and hurried here as quickly as I could. It cannot be a coincidence that we've seen someone who looked like Zelda twice, but a mystery for another time. Do you solve the mural's riddle and cause this to appear? I'm impressed. If I remember correctly, the mural said, Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. Oh. Maybe my lightning strike is the key. Captions are not even on, huh? Sorry about that, chat. Test, test, test. There it is.
reduce power of lightning. All right. So, looks like that temple has a Gibdo infestation. So let's clear it out. The Lightning Temple. The Muril's myth, risen from the sands. That one's not glowing, but that one is. Queen Gibdo. Looks like a huge moth. Boss time. Here we go. This has to be their leader. It's got a fire at its head. Does that mean it's like the other gift? Yep. Our attack should be affected. Oi. Can't even move in this sand without the sand shrouds. I mean, the sand sandals. And it was just right there at the store. Didn't need to try this. An apple? Streamer, what are you doing? Dodge. Still too far. Are you okay? Dang. Sun's not even out.
turn bright and brutal again. I'm just gonna give her a taste of her own medicine and just throw bones at her face. Oh, that's a headshot. Now it's phase two. It fled up toward the roof. Maybe there's some way to go up after it inside the structure? Come on, Link. Let's look for a way in. Repelled. It's glowing. Oh no. Gonna need Riju to topple that. Shut it down. Oh no, it, sh it turned off. Oh, bearable heat. Stand still, read you. Oh. No arrows, what? I ran out of arrows, that is unfortunate. Yep. Now yeah, I'm just gonna use this instead. <laughs> Gonna have to retreat for now. Hmm? Oh, there's an arrow right here. And I dropped that on accident from the looks of it. Boom! Well, the sunrise and the shade is gone. Why did I do that? Nope, nope. That's what I want to do. Well, the thread is cleared. For now. <sighs> 
get out of ruins and it There's no check mark there. What am I missing? I'll remain here, so come back when you can. All right. Wow, first time in a game that I run out of arrows completely. in gonna buy some arrows off of you for sack twenty how many tokens do I have? Four. Okay. What do we get? Heart piece or stamina vessel? Um, something tells me I'm gonna need stamina. Cause two wheels, it's not gonna be enough. We're gonna need an additional wheel. And guess what that means? Shrine hunting. Or... We could go ahead and try it. The Amber Rearings. Hmm. 400 rupees for this. That harnesses the power of the land to increase defense when equipped. So, what does that even mean? Geolocation specific? No. I'm not gonna waste money on that. Please be safe. Where'd the dude go? Young man, please. Have you seen a fellow with a scruffy beard around here? Uh, <clears throat> sorry, that was rather abrupt. But it's our friend Pontos. He's gone missing. When Karakara -Kar Bazaar was attacked by monsters, we ran away together, taking shelter at the local inn. But when I finally had my wits about me, I realized Pontos had disappeared. Between the storming Saiyans and the rush of people, everything was a chaotic blur. I could barely see a thing. But I think I caught a glimpse of Ponthos running out through the west entrance. If we get lost in the desert, our squad's rule is to wait for rescue in a place that stands out, like near a tall building. But there are lots of sinkholes in this desert, and they can really trip you off. I don't even want to think about what would happen if you fell in. Our chances of finding him would be low enough without the sand shroud, but with it? Please be okay, Pontos. Lost in the dunes. Mm-hmm. I'll take them all. 35 arrows. Who else is selling? Could always go visit Beetle. Oh, wait. The shop isn't open. Right. I gotta take the pictures so he could... I mean, the stable owner could have a grand send-off, but what he doesn't know is... We get all the pictures in, he's gonna reopen it. It's like everyone's gonna come back. 
<laughs> it never fails. Do it, Akamik. You, you must be an assassin. No, never mind, you're just Senia. No, Beetle doesn't even come here. He just wants a picture of Spectacle Rock and something else. What does he want again? Oh, a choo-choo. Oh, wait, never mind. That's Sage at the Kochi Dai Shop. Monster Curry. Goron Spice, Hylian Rice, and Monster Extract. Stones last three more to photograph. Hmm. We already have ten of her eggs, do we? Yes. This one is just a craft Mifa spear. Oh, yeah. Secret treasure under the great fish. Sidon. Below the long bridge that reaches for the statue, leave your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls to find your prize. I never understood what that even meant. There's a shrine right there. And a shrine here, and a shrine there. So many shrines everywhere. Is this Melania Spring? There's that puzzle to be solved. That's the Elden pieces. Elden Sky Archipelago. There's nothing up here. Except those pieces of land. And yet yeah, there's no Sky Sanctuary thing. <sighs> Yeah, a friend of mine's been telling me that I was really close on finding the Zora Helm, but I just said, F it, and I moved on. <laughs> uh, he just tell me, like, just get the Zora Helm. You're going to thank yourself later for it. I'm like, all right. I'm going to go find it again. Just got to do some shopping first, like restock on arrows and everything. Hello, fish man. Wait. What are you doing? I prepare myself that we may have to live with the sludge for another 100 years or so. In this instance, I am happy to have so massively miscalculated. The young ones have saved us all. I am of course speaking about our brave King Sidon, however. My son Rivon and my granddaughter Dunma have also become so dependable. They are like a brand new Zora. I cannot allow them to take all the glory for themselves. I will train until I return to form, starting with these legs of mine. All right, Grandpa, go for it. Oh, that's convenient. I'll use a Fallen Sky piece instead.
What is that? It's an opening. Oh, yep, I didn't see this. I was too sleep deprived to notice anything. Here we go. Nice. The never ending lecture completes. And that also completes the Zora set. Nice. Go past the two waterfalls to find your prize. Is it this area? <sighs> Oluria Grotto, South Cave. Ah, it's a huge deposit here. <laughs> Yonapo, where are you going? Break this for me. Another amber. Oh, I hear Froggy. Where is he? Aggro. Boom! Headshot. Got it. One more bubble gum to my collection. Hey, I see you. You don't fool me. Okay, Rock Monster, let's go! Was a mistake so much for the no damage run. What hammer weapons do I have? Well, I mean, they're all considered hammer weapons, these things. You search me well, Hammer!
Nice. Okay, so we got the luminous heart. This thing is about to break. That is... Well, as much as I like to keep this stall horn, I never use this weapon, have I? Nope. I could always revisit the castle and get the horn later. Wait. The skull moves? Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. Never mind, I don't want to disassemble it. That's actually pretty nice. I like that. Let's see, I already got the Colgara Reaper. The Boulder Hammer is just a rusty claymore. This one is about to break. I'm just going to use it on a rock. There's nothing else around this area except that, and that, and I'm guessing they lead somewhere. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> They're just resources. Won't say no to resources. And... Nah, this is it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and fuse that shield. Because, I mean... Material to something. This one uses a strong... This one is a Kalgara Reaper, and that one, the Kalgara Jaw, is like level 36. Mighty Zonite, Solar Construct 4. Eh, that's appropriate. 32, Flux Construct. 32, 20. This one is just 25 with strong variants. No. Regular zone. Knight sword. No. No, I'll just fuse it to this. The luminous stone sledge. This one has an attack power level twenty one. Huh. That is so cool. So, from what I'm guessing, the secret treasure is... 
I gotta get to that stonefish and drop all the way down to that pond. It's like a diving puzzle, so to speak. Oh, look at that. I could definitely swim faster. Spin attack! Yep. That's cool. Everyone knows a Korok is behind that waterfall. Thought the treasure was going to be back there. It just went, yeah. -ha -ha. Wait, maybe it's under there? Oh, wait. I see something right there. Unfortunately, I cannot crouch down. Oh, it's just a silent princess. I mean, silent shroom. Nintendo just put that there just to troll me. Nintendo's trolling everyone. How dare they? <sighs> Hello, Korok. Nice to see you. Oh, who's that? No, oh, it's just Nadra. Highly in the distress. <gasps> Saved you again, water. Honestly, you should be paying me for my services. Gonna go ahead and kick you over there, too. Boink. Yep, the impact of the damage will break the skulls. It's perfect so you don't have to waste your weapon's durability, and that is a major monster settlement. Is that where the hostage is? Yes. It's night time, so this stealth armor would shine better. Silver Bakablin, gone to sleep. 
armored monster. And B Smalls over there. Thank you for the arrows. I really wanted that. As for this big, huge Mamba Jamba, definitely I'm gonna need this. It's a silver, and silvers have a lot of health. Come on. to send through it <laughs> my stall knock smasher is badly damaged no worries dude we'll get you out of here Stone two-handed axe, spiked iron ball boomerang. Nice. And now you. Nice. Steal these all shield durability up. That's nice. Travelers claim more. Take a picture of the boomerang. Take a picture of that. Surprised I never took a picture of that either. Nice. Thank you for the arrows. I'll take that. What's in here? A Lionel Reaper. Attached to a stick. Right. You're free. Thank you. I'm saved. I despaired thinking no one would find me here. You might be wondering how I got here. A fine question. To explain, I must tell you about the Blood Moon. Some nights, no matter the moon's phase, it rises full and red. Precisely at midnight, the whole sky turns crimson. 
and then defeat the monsters up here again. There you have it. The Blood Moon! It is my life's work to research this event. Why do the monsters revive? What connects them to the Blood Moon? I thought if I studied the monster's ecology, I would discover something. But I got too close, and here I am. Please, take this for saving me. Hmm. You want another? Alright. No, that's not enough to properly convey my gratitude. Here! Tonight's moon. I have a feeling that it might be red. So please hurry up. This is a terrible spot for me to conduct my observations. Well, I'm sure we'll meet again. Now quick, let's spit up before a monster spots us. And we're done here. Hostage has been rescued. It's a patrol. A whole bunch of ramshackle materials there. East Reservoir Lake. Why, is there a Korok that needs to be rescued? Well, no. A challenge Korok, actually. Oh no. Aim a little bit higher like that. Oh no, almost. Nope. Where are the wings? Here we go. Where's the last one? Oh. Yeah, ha ha. Yeah, I better be worth it losing all those arrows. Oh, wait, they're over there. There we go, got all of it back. Just gonna see this one thing. Jump from the fish, go beyond to past waterfalls to claim your prize. In other words, jump from the sky fish and into that little body of water. <sighs> yep. If that doesn't work, I'm just gonna go ahead and just move on. Come to think of it, 656 rupees, and I believe there's a Geruda at Goron Town that can buy my stuff at a premium. Go beyond past two waterfalls. <laughs> hmm. 
Let's see, we clear the fort. Secret treasure under the great fish. Leave your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls to find your prize. Leave my fears behind, it says. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I'm pretty much too stupid to figure it out. Wait a minute. Two waterfalls. This one. Nima's supposed to dive right there. One more, then we're just gonna move on. your story. Ooh. Link, thank you so much for your assistance at the reservoir. That stone was absolutely ideal for repairing the park. I intend to try my best at making it look even more beautiful than it did before the upheaval came to pass. Awesome. Nothing I can do there. So that's the waterfall that I'm guessing I gotta jump into? No. Skyfish doesn't even show it except that form. Maybe not supposed to jump from the head after all. from there. Here we go! <laughs> nope, you know what? I give up. We could just go behind a waterfall where the Korok is and climb up, only for us to discover nothing. The 
so the guard is over there. Let's just go ahead and report the good news. What are you doing? The sludge has disappeared, and a new king has taken the throne. A wonderful new page has been added to the history of the Zora. I wish I could stay forever in our beautiful domain, Link. But as I understand it, you must be leaving. If you ever grow weary during your journey, please return to Zoro's domain. You're always welcome here. Aw, oh, that's nice. Okay, so there's a sentry. My shivering fins! Link, regarding the subject of that monster fort, we decided to gather some soldiers to go and dispense justice. <laughs> we'll make them pay for their actions. Ah, uh, my fins are shivering with excitement. I kill them all. What? So I guess that means you did all that on your own? Oh. Well now, that is quite impressive, Link. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, we put together a team prepared all night, yet you did this all by yourself. Ha. <laughs> Indeed. Well, let's leave it at that. I'm so grateful that the domain is safe once again. Please allow me to thank you. Take this. Nice. I was asking for payment, and he did. Thanks a lot, dude. This was our war fund for striking down our enemy. However, since our objective has already been achieved, please accept this as a reward, Link. You've more than earned it with your distinguished service. As for me... I should report that the threat is gone at once. There we go, that takes care of that side quest. Now let's go visit the Great Fairy. There you go, captions! Thank you for not calling me a cat furry. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's pretty funny. To visit the fairy and go back to the desert. No, wait. Look at that, it's a bullfongo. I mean, a boar. Bullfongos are from Monster Hunter. Man, those fuckers just charge at you for no reason. It's like they see a monster, they ignore it. They see hunters, they... They just can't help but charge at us. Okay, flirtatious fairy, what you got? Lizafo's horn, I could upgrade those two. Dun, 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 dun. Beautifully indeed. Uh, now it's a one-star armor. And to get the rest of the things, I got the Lizafos talent, and I need to get Hyrule base. Electric Lizafos horn, I already got that. White choo-choo jelly. Perfect! Mm -hmm. I can upgrade this. At the very least, get the three pieces of armor up to one star so I could enjoy the perks. So, now that it's upgraded, now we could need additional choo choo jellies and cool saflinas. I'm going to need a far more choo-choo jellies, but for now... Mm. Oh. Oh. 
Hold on a minute. I'd rather just, you know, save the upgrades for the head, because the shoes, I believe, I'll benefit a lot more if I were to get the sandals. Wait, what else could I upgrade? Oh, I could upgrade this to the D Firefly. Right. Upgrading the Gloom Armor, you're gonna need materials from the Deaths. Frog's Fang. Uh huh, and Dark Clumps. Well, I could upgrade this. The Pants. Bright Bloom Seed and Bright Caps. Da, da, na, na, na. Oh. Mm. The climbing mm. boots. Mm. <laughs> Electric key swings. Yep, I'm gonna need to find those things. And farm additional moblin guts. Mm. Oh. Plenty of luminous stones, though, so I'm good. Mm. Oh. Mm. Um. Oh. Anything else? Varudania Divine Helmet. I got plenty of rubies. Mm. Mm. Huh? <laughs> Two stars, and that's it. Nah, there's nothing else. <laughs> Since two of my little sisters are still secluding themselves in their flower buds. If you see a flower bud as you journey through Hyrule, please play lovely music for them, too. <laughs> my little sister Kaisa said she was going to a stable near the Gerudo region southwest from here. Well, then I'm headed home. <laughs> Castle moat. This one still has not a check mark next to it. Ish with Asian Hyrulean text, and I can't take a picture of it. But then again, the dude already translated it. What's your name? What is your deal, Sila? Ah. Are you interested in the ruin too? The letters carved to your ancient Hyrulean, and Wordsworth is the only person who can decipher them. Even if it's just a stone tablet, I want to know what's written on it. Blah 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 blah. blah. Ah. Huh? Wordsworth told you about it? The royal's family daily life, you say? And there are 12 other stone tablets with ancient Hyrulean like this one? Finding 12 more stone tablets seems like a tall order. Hmm. This tablet fell from the sky, so maybe searching from above is the way to go. Maybe someone like the Ridu Hearth could help. The Rito Hearth? Who's Hearth? Shakalaka! Heck yeah, dude! Expand! Weapon stash, he's gonna be asking for 20. Oh, wow, 25. 
expand my shields. Oh man, I just love his vibe. Da, na, 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 na. Expand a band band, thanks a lot. Someone up there in a tower? No one. Hylian rice, 17. If I buy all three, that would make 20 Hylian rices. That is what the dude needs in Hyrule base. Huh. Hateno cheese. Gaigam, Mubs, Garini. Jumbo. There are plenty of things in Goron City that we haven't even ex fully explored yet. <sighs> Considering there are side quests that I haven't even popped yet. No, and I see that Korok balloon. I see you! Oh, I can't use Tolan in town. <laughs> yeah, ha ha. Bye bye. I see those two. Got you. Got you. Half off. Don't miss. Oh, half off my butt. How's the search for Zelda going? I've been trying to remember anything that might help us, but everything's hazy from when I was wearing that mask. So I've given up on trying to recall what happened then. Instead, I'm focusing on investigating around here to see if anything weird is happening so is there anything weird happening mm. this might have to anything to do with princess zelda but mm. there's an old mine we turned into an amusement park recently but we haven't gotten word out much yet so it's not seen much action it's across from yanabo co market south of goron city the location is not bad at all but even so business is slow mm. for now i'll keep an eye out to see whether anything strange is going on around here Link, you take care of what you need to do, okay? Alright, see ya. Doesn't matter how busy I am if you're in a pinch, Link. You come hollering, and I'll help out. That's nice of you, Yonabo. You're a bro. Oh, there she is. Sabak. Sabak? Oh, sorry. Sabak is an expression where I'm from. It means good day. Although Kizzy Zay shortened it with to Sava. I'm Ramella. I'm a jeweler from Gerudo Town in southwestern Hyrule. The ore that Yonabo Co handles are high quality, so I always travel here to procure them. But at the moment, there aren't any available here. I don't suppose you have any amber, do you? The amber dealer. I'll buy 10 pieces of amber. For 200. Okay. Sarkso! Oh, sorry. Sarkso is another expression where I'm from. It means thank you. K. 
is these days shorten it to Sark. That was very helpful. I'll buy ore from you anytime. Though keep in mind that I'm often looking for different ore at different times. So check in with me every often to see what I'm looking for. What I want now is what? Sark Solo for selling me the amber just now. Since you're speaking to me again, I assume you have ore to sell me. Got any topazes? I'll buy 10 from you for 200,000 rupees. I don't have that much. No, thank you. You won't? Certainly you can sell your ore at any old shop. Amber's getting easier to come by, so the selling price is lower than ever. I'm the only one who will buy them at a high price these days. How many Amber pieces do I have? By type. Fuse attack power star fragment. I'm just gonna keep it. I got seven toll passes. Then she's gonna be asking me for sapphire and for opal. Wait, it's a hot spring. Yeah, I just take a dip right here. And chillax. <laughs> Fully recovered. <laughs> it's these guys. <laughs> Gah! Rohan, and he's just, uh, I'm too old to give a shit about you. What's your problem? Master Rohan, please let me try making the Boulder Breaker again. You got some gall, kid. After you up and left a workshop in the middle of training for some marbled rock rolls to what's it? I'm done with you. I've got no excuses, but I still need to put the finishing touches on that Boulder Breaker. First, let me prove myself, please. If it's still no good, then you can be done with me. Well, you got your enthusiasm, and that counts for something. But without materials, how do you intend to do this? You'll need a... Oh, hold on a minute, chat. Alright, sorry about that. That was my mom. Let's see. You'll need a cobble crusher, five pieces of flint, and three diamonds to complete it. Since you spent all our material funds on marbled rock roast, we're dried up. We don't have money or materials. Uh, I, I'll just uh, do something about that. Soul of the Gorons. Oh, and there's that thing, which is a boulder breaker. What happens if I try to touch it? Hey, bub, keep your hands off of that. That's a custom-made product called the boulder breaker, a historic weapon that is venerated among us Gorons. But currently, it's nothing more than a hunk of junk till it's complete. It's fragile, so don't touch it. But if you bring me the materials I need to complete it, I might let you have it. Okay. Clacka clacka zoom! Good old pot springs. That Yonabo. What's up, Lodo? If not for this pesky back of mine, I'd be pitching it left and right. 
despite that, that Yanabo used to always pester me. Boss this and boss that. And now look at him. A sage. He's always been a simple fella, so yeah, I can always count on him for everything. But when there's a job needs doing, he'll see that it gets done. If you run into a wall, there's no better time to holler for him. Cool. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, hey! You're here in Geron City for a bit of sightseeing, too? If so, you got perfect timing. Up until recently, the Gorons were acting real weird. You could barely even hold a simple conversation with them. The second those strange red stones vanished, well, they came right to their senses. Good news is, I can finally go looking for Simmerstone Springs, which is why I came here in the first place. Simmerstone? Don't tell me you never heard of Simmerstone Springs. What? Really? Uh, I mean, if I'm being honest, I guess I don't really know that much about the place either. I just know there's a secret hot spring called Simmerstone Springs somewhere near Goron City. But, well, I guess that's what makes it a secret hot spring. Only those in a know, know about it, you know? What I think I'm gonna do is try to talk to some hot spring buffs at the not secret hot springs. See if they know where it is. Hmm. I suppose we're on hot springs is a good place to start. Maybe I'll look it up on a map later. The Simmerstone. Oh, yeah. Got the arrows? Rock salt. Sugar canes. Goron spice. Here's the arrows. 83 arrows. Okay, we're well stocked. So where exactly is the Great Fairy's little sister at? But wait, the stables are closed. And the troop cannot... Well, yeah. We gotta open it up. Oh, hey you, Picongo. What are you trying to paint? That shape really draws my eye. Do you think it's natural formation? Or maybe... Oh, wait, he's just gonna be repeating the same lines. Blah, 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 blah. Small island, look! Uh-huh. It's a flower. That's what he's saying. Is it nearby? He was looking at it and it's already deciphered. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's this. I have not popped a shrine in this area. And then there's this place. That's another monument that I had to decipher. West Hebra Sky Archipelago. <sighs> and there's another arena style place. Then again, we gotta see where Spectacle Rock is. Probably find it here.
unbearable cold as soon as I launch out of it. Let's see, that's a chasm hole right there. Chasm hole there. Three bolt holes are so close to each other. I see a shrine and it's covered. That's a Gliok. And that Gliok is guarding a big sword. Big statue sword. There's something right there. Also three. Hello. Thank you. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I see you, Shrine. And there's something up there? Oh. Just Baka Blend's parting. Otutsum Shrine. gonna solve this. Oh, it's a blessing. Okay. Two more toll passes. Now I'm gonna be rich. Na, 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 na. One token. Thus begins the vicious cycle of collecting tokens once again. And turn them in, in for upgrades. There's a bunch of birdies flying over there. What? What's over there? Those look like ice pablets. Do I hear something? It's just my imagination. Yep. That's what it is. It's a frost pebblet. Statue of the Eighth Heroine. Wow, there's the Eighth Heroine. And it looks like it needs Reju's lightning strike to activate it. Okay. Fallen sky piece. 
You ain't eating me, no siree. What? I don't want to be using the key swings. Oh, I'm blocking it with the shield, you. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> Bam. I spread these awful horn. Yep. Extra ice horns never heard, but I can't warp over there. Of course I can't. Let's just go that way. Link, I've been waiting. Now let's go. Oh. Baka blends. And this looks like the bone of something. Blood Moon! Let's just take evasive maneuvers and get the F out of here. Where's the temple? This way! Welcome to the Lightning Temple. Yeah, I'm gonna borrow this for a while. Zone eye chest. Thank you. Hmm. 
Arrows. No, that's not a sand I could just blow off. Nope. Oh, nice! See, this is why you always break pots. You may not get 10 rupees, I mean... <laughs> oh, nothing. Alright. You are a weighted item, so I'm guessing I'm gonna leave you right there. I know you guys seen that TikTok vid. That is hilarious. A wooden stick? I don't need this. Their torch. I see Gibdo bones and yeah, I'm not going down there. Yep. you? You know what to do. Nice. They had an opal. Ooh, one more to find. Weapons, don't give me that BS. Gnarled wooden stick. I'm gonna toss you out. <laughs> Alright. This one is about to break, so I might as well just use it and... Get on with it. Yeah, I knew I was right not to trust this. Something is down there, but what? Zombies. These flames make it impossible to go further.
Ja. What's broken? That's what we wanted. What is under here? A Gerudo scimitar. Claymore, nope. So I'm just gonna throw this out. Big brain, let's go. Hey, the flames have gone out. Now we can move ahead. What? Fireballs now? <sighs> Looks like we're stuck again. I need to fuse this Gerudo weapons, though. What do we have here? A horn. Bakalin axe. Level 18. If I fuse that, I'm gonna get two times the benefits. Even if it's not a Zonai weapon... Gonna hold on that and a bladed weapon. Where is what bladed weapon should I use? And this. Mm -hmm. Get it a scimitar. This one. The claymore. It'll be the hammer. There we go. Where's Riju? That's a tower. It's not glowing. Thanks for the bow. There it is. You're up, Riju.
That's an amber. Oh, look at that. It's an opal. And that one just burned itself. Oh, nice. Arrows. Don't have to waste my durability on that since the boys got it. There we go. Good job, boys. Could I blow that away? No. of hopeful lights. And a Zonai construct. What are you? A Mark IV captain. Nice, nice! Y'all oh, come on. Let's go! Nice. Sure dropped a lot of arrows and the mighty variants. There we go. Two mighty variants. Gonna try to find a way to break that sooner. Well, I'll just toss this out. Whoop! There we go, there we go, there we go. Haha, <laughs> a buried. That is all funny. That was a buried construct. Oh, I already tossed that. A room of hopeful light. Hmm. Question is, what is over this way? Oh, a mighty construct bow, and this one has an attack. Up. Bonus. And so is this. Well, that one says 24, and the other one says 34. That's a zone. I don't want to waste that. Royal bow. That's nice. Frenetic bow. It's just sniper, but... It's just for shooting down Korog balloons. That's it. You honestly don't need it. 
Yeah, these things is just to complete the puzzle. But now a better question is what is down here? Gonna need to find a stone slab. Or I could just... Do it like that. <laughs> uh, that doesn't work! First floor. Room of Ascension. Link, I'm certain that Muro we saw in town was trying to guide us here. And I believe we also find whoever that voice we've been hearing belongs to. Okay, I gotta activate that. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, the floor started to rise, then slam back down. to the very top of this temple. Use your power to charge the four battles, and it will function once more. Heed my words. I heard the voice very clearly just now. It's calling to me. It said that I should use my power to charge the four batteries. The monster we fought outside earlier fled to the top of this temple. And the voice that has been speaking to us said the platform should be able to take us all the way up there. If that's true, we could corner the monster at the top. We might also figure out who is talking to us and why. Okay, Link. We did get to the very top. To start, we should do what that mysterious voice suggested and try to find those four battery devices. Cool. First one is already in this room. Uh, what is this? Uh huh. But this rock right here, and there are other rocks down over there too. Yeah, these rocks. Now, I don't know how, but I'll fit them in. There we go. That's a uh, Gerudo Spear. Oops. 
I already ID'd it. But this one is just a red lino horn. Oh man, I already got the good stuff. What exactly is its base? Gnarled wooden stick and a 22 Lionel Saber Horn. Durability up. Level 36 Call Garage Jar, and I don't want to throw that. Blackley's Awful Horn. Luminous Stone Talus. Oh, that one's good, and so is this. Two good spears. No. Don't want to throw that away. Uh, that's fine. There's already one in town. Where's the first battery? Here it is. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to work? First floor. It's sealed. Guessing that goes there. It's stuck in the sand. How dare you!
There we go. That's one. That thing will come around in intervals. That it is. Headshot. I heard something. Zonai stakes. What are we going to do with those? That's what the stakes are for. Or not. Yep.
Oh, why did I fell down? That's open now. States. First battery. So this is one of the batteries. It seems to have absorbed my lightning well enough. All right, three left. Oops. Okay, let's go. That's one room solved. Hmm. So, let's see. Second floor is just going to be right there, hidden behind something, and a third floor is right there. This trap is disabled. We don't got to worry about this. It's just a statue that's already activated it. Dang it! That guy's got some really good aim. Got my royal bow back, and oh wow, I dropped a lot of royal bows, did I? Mighty, mighty, mighty. That's nice. Gerudo, Zonite. Uh huh. It's battery powered. This one is a royal blaze all spear in that. I don't want to use those. And I broke this? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I broke the get out of weapon. That's what happened. Now, this mighty Zonite sword, what do we fuse it with? The mighty captain? This one is just a one hander. Yeah, I'm gonna save the Captain Whore for something else. Where's the soldier? This one. <laughs> ah, 
how do we solve this? It's hidden behind something. Hmm. It's accessible from the top, though. And, of course, I am too short to ascend through the ceiling. Ascend, perhaps? Just come back to this room later. Room of Glorious Light. I don't see anything glorious about this. Okay, success. Okay, so that is definitely a light shine. Oh, they're actually positioned. Great. Mm-hmm. The light is shining here and there, but where... The light is shining that way. Yeah, so that's where you get the mirror. You know what? I lost sight of it. Where is it? There you are. The mirror shield, I'm gonna toss one out. I don't need that. Here we go. Gotta hear a certain sound. Oh. Where exactly is that statue that I saw? Oh, it's right there.
Oi. Just barely. Zone eye pieces do I have actually? Do I have a stake? Huh, I could actually use that. That one's in. No, oh, I know he. Not enough time. Doing Link. I swear. That light is permanently shining through. Here we go. Now the real question is, how are we going to be shining it to these ladies? I wish the game could let me see, but unfortunately it's... Wait. I know you would be hearing like a sound prompt, but I don't hear anything. I could have sent through here. Where is that going to take me, though? It only takes me to the surface. Ah. Uh, um. Nope. I'm not paying attention to you.
Um, I zoned out and the sticks despawned. That is inconvenient. Okay. Come on, streamer! What are you doing? That one is pointing too up. Then again, it's gonna be too up as well. On... Huh? Yep, 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 all right. to... Nope, it's not even gonna work at all. How frustrating. This is the only spot where the light works, unless... Let's see, that mirror is pointing that way. That mirror is pointing downwards. That mirror is pointing that away. And that mirror is shining... That way to the left, and it will hit that beam right there. So, looks like I'm going to be hitting that mirror first. shined but it's supposed to be shining that way <sighs> this is already frustrating me It leads to that room. B1. Actually, B1 is right there. Below. <laughs> Imagine if we ascend through that, that's gonna be convenient. Let's see if that's... That can happen. You know, that rock can be useful. No, never mind. <gasps> Extra rocks? Yeah. 
Eh. All right, Riju, go ahead and charge me up. If Nintendo were to be nice enough to give me a hint, or maybe I'm just too smooth brain to figure out what to do next. Second floor, it's covered there. There is just no way to ascend through that except to fall through the sixth floor. Oh, actually, can't reach that instead. The third floor. That is only accessible up there. It's... Is it through here? No. Oh, yes. Room of Offered Light. Here we go. That's a lot of constructs, though. It'd be really smart that the, the Gibdos and the Constructs would kill each other. Yep. Now they're aggroed. Things. Okay, read you. Well, you're busy with them, but I don't mind free Gitto bones. Oh crap. There we go. Wait, the lights. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they cannot stand the wrath of G0D. That's what I call divine wrath. <laughs> what else is in here? I see buried Zonai devices. Yep. bunch of hot air balloons.
pretty sure we do something with them, but what? That one is stuck. Uh-huh. That's why it's telling me to launch a balloon up. Alright, alright, I get it. See, brawly legs. <laughs> yep, slowly but surely, because a flame emitter would have sent the air balloon fly. Boo. My Korok leaf! You know what? The wooden stick is nothing to me now. What am I doing? I really hate it when I gotta flip the things diagonally like this. Okay. So the light this way, that's not gonna be... Looking like it's struggling to stay straight. It's more or less straight. So that is shining, um, well, for the second floor. Is this gonna be enough? Nope.
gonna get the same results, actually. in a lower elevation, actually. Lower elevation. Now, the real question is, is it, is it actually hitting the statue? I don't think so. That specific statue that I gotta shine it on. And yet these things don't stand still. It's not gonna work. I would really wish you could just look up with your shield like you would in... Zelda 64. There's gotta be something in this room that I am overlooking, but what? That statue only points that way. That shield is pointing this way. And that shield is... There, I didn't see that room! Room of Natural Light. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo, finally, progress! Why does this look like an eraser from school? I know. Wait, no, wait. We don't got a trip. We just simply move the rock without shaking this thing. Yes! Finally! Alright, we're moving on at last. Just ascend through here. A gnarled wooden stick. I don't remember picking that up. Longer throwing distance. Uh huh.
way is open. Riju, where are you? Okay, there you are. Okay, only one more battery to go. I thought that was the last one. Ugh. I got too excited there. The last one is at the third floor. How exactly do we access that? Because I really don't see... ...anything accessible this way. Supposedly, it has to do something about this statue. Or the one above. It's pointing this way. But... Let's see... Third floor... B1... Could it be accessible from there? I mean, as an ascension point, that is. That's more like a yes or no answer, but... Second floor, third floor. Oh. Room of Offered Light. Oh, I forgot to activate that. Here I am, my inner child just got too excited to move on. <laughs> all of the batteries with lightning. Okay, okay. Should wake up the mechanism in the center. Let's go, Link. Alright, we're moving somewhere. Alright. Just like a monster hunter, it's always a good idea to eat food before you go on a hunt. Yeah. I don't need that, or do I? Let's just go on ahead. I mean, y'all did see the mirror, um, the light melting that Gibdo. What is... Link, I think this platform is about to move. You don't say. Something is shining over there. Room of glorious light. All right. Here we go.
we meet again, Queen Gitto. Let's go. We'll finish it off here and now. We've got a corner here. Are you okay? Definitely. Thank you, Lionel Reaper. You served your purpose. Come on. I miss. It's hammer time. But never mind. I keep forgetting that each time you drop its health below half, the second phase comes. And it's activating that. The fungal towers. Heck yes! Oh crap. Gotta get those out the towers. There we go. Just wondering why the towers are not activating, but now they are.
Come on. What was that? really don't have that much, do I? <sighs> Cheesy tomato. Charging right at me. Goodbye, Queen. And thus your reign has ended. to that. What is that, Riju? Well, that is your destiny. Awaken. who called down lightning, just as you can. I've seen you brandish the power you have in defense of our people. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You are the pride of the Guru. 
The Demon King is responsible for sending the monster that caused the Sand Shroud. But the monster's true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining that stone. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? <laughs> Don't worry. You will understand soon enough. Let me tell you of events in our distant past. The events that shaped our people's destiny during the imprisonment. Long, long ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young, a great evil, the Demon King, emerged. He attacked the innocent and sought the destruction of Hyrule. He was our chief before he changed. His obsession with power transformed him into a monster. Rauru, the first king of Hyrule, and six warriors rose to oppose him. I'm proud to have been one of them. We faced the Demon King, but only after Rauru gave us the secret stones. Artifacts that amplified the abilities of those who carried them. I, the Sage of Lightning, fought by my fellow sages in battle with my own secret stone. But we were no match for his overwhelming power. He endured our strongest attacks, even the lightning strikes I called down. King Rauru knew we had lost the battle against the Demon King. He made the ultimate sacrifice to imprison the Demon King, to seal him away. That was the imprisoning war. Some time later, another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me. And she set the Gerudo on our destined path. The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that time comes, you must help Link. He is a noble swordsman who will fight that monster. So please, he will need your assistance. Lend him your power, the Gerudo's control of lightning. The path of the Gerudo was clear at that moment. We wish nothing more than to eliminate the Demon King. We are responsible for his very existence in this world, and for that we must make amends. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Gerudo Sage of Lightning will awaken once more. The Gerudo Sage and her people will fight alongside your swordsmen. And now I have told you all I can of the imprisoning war and of our people's destiny. You have saved Gerudo Town, but the Demon King still remains a threat. Riju, daughter of the Gerudo, you must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the swordsman, Link. So it's my destiny to fight by your side. <sighs> my destiny as a sage, my duties as chief, and fighting side by side with you? <laughs> Sounds like fun. I will gladly strike down the so-called Demon King. I guess it's time to claim my destiny! I am the 
Sage of Light. Witness this new power I possess. The fourth pact has been formed. Use that ring to call upon my power whenever you need it. <laughs> it seems I can finally repay you. Okay, should we head back to town? Let's. GG to that. <laughs> ah, Link. I am grateful to you for helping me save the Gerudo. I received reports that ever since the Sand Shroud disappeared, Gibdo attacks have almost entirely stopped. Oh. It will no doubt take some time to rebuild, but it is thanks to your help that we can live on the surface again. On behalf of all the Gerudo people, thank you. I am sorry to say, though, that despite the safety of Gerudo Town no longer being a pressing concern, we still haven't been able to uncover any information on the whereabouts of Princess Zelda. Actually, Bolaria, I do have a small piece of information regarding Zelda. I experienced a vision when I took the secret stone in my hand. The person that my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time looked identical to Zelda. Someone who just happens to look like Zelda, that doesn't explain everything that's been going on. But it's impossible to deny that someone resembling Zelda has been spotted across Hyrule and that terrible events follow her. The Zelda we know and the Zelda we saw in the vision of the distant past are incredibly similar. If the Zelda in the past is our Zelda, then who is this other person? We must uncover her true identity. I'm sorry, Link. Although the threat of the Sand Trial and the Gibdos have passed, I cannot leave Gerudo Town at the moment. Things need some time to settle. However, we will take on a task of searching this area for any signs of Zelda. And with my newfound power as a sage, I will still be able to support you. I swear that I, I will do anything I can to help. 
Riju's vow. Oh. Link, you said you had already visited Riedel Village, Goron City, and Zoro's Domain. I'm sure Lookout Landy would value any information you could share. Why not go there and see if he can help? So. I hope your travels bring you back here again, Link. I look forward to such a reunion. Nice. So, you got any side quests for me? I will do my best to learn more of what's happening with Zelda before we meet again. Make sure to come back and visit. Oh, and don't forget, even when I cannot be by your side, you can always call on my power as a sage. Alright. Come on in. Oh, I guess I don't have to be disguised as a female. Uh-huh. Sarso and bomb flowers. Hi. Hey, you. Uh -huh. You must be that man. I mean, Vo, that everyone is talking about. It's so unusual to see a man here. <laughs> anyway, this is important. Since you've been allowed in town, you absolutely have to try to spot plan at Hotel Oasis. The owner of the place, Roma, has a special technique that is all the rage. Originally, I was just another customer coming here to relax, but I got hooked. Now I work here as an assistant. Ha! Huh? The spa plan that Olu offers is reasonably priced and a good option, too. But, well, just keep in mind that it's discounted for a reason. I don't think the results are guaranteed. What? Talma. Hey, there she is. Wait, I never rescued that guy, did I? Nope, never did. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. Now we are a party of four. That's a zone I sled. Can't let my guard down. Sabak. Sabak. My heart flutters, even now, to think of the courage you displayed in that battle. It is reassuring to see that there is at least one capable Hylian Vo. You are quite unlike those members of the Caravan Squad. They were helping us with our guard duties and up until Captain Rip fired them. Oh. Well, now that the Sand Shroud is gone and our forces are restored, we shouldn't need to rely on outsiders' help anymore. Aha, uh -huh, still missing. Okay. That means you climb all the way up there? Really? Is that where Mr. Grahaha is at? That's Ring Ruin. And Ganondorf's butthole over there. Wonder what is actually out there.
is there? It's gotta be Korok up here. I know there has to be. There's gonna be a Korok. Yep, I knew it. Yeah, ha, ha. Bye bye. Let's see. The fire pits that Ponthos is leaving behind. Obviously, it's a trick. The tallest building. Actually, the sinkholes, they say they will trip you up. So I'm guessing Ponthos fell into the hole. If I dive right into it, obviously I'm going to break my neck. <laughs> oh, there he is. The Oasis Source. Oh, you messed up, you don't say. What? A person? Ooh, sorry, I never thought I'd run into another person down here. Fell down a sinkhole, did you? So did I, my guy. My name's Pontos. I'm a member of a caravan squad. Or I was before monsters attacked the Oasis, and I ditched my friends and ran. That's how I wound up down here. Looked all over the place, but I still can't find an exit. You and me might be down here for a long, long time. You don't say. If only I'd stuck with the rest of the caravan squad. Uh huh. So, what does that mean? The rocks have respawned? Yes. This is just disposable. I could just. Oh, look at that diamond. We're going to hang on to that, not sell it anymore. Thank you, Orion Jesus. I swear, these lizards, they, they, they remind me of Dodo Gamas. The Dodo Gamas so adorable. These rocks don't even drop anything. Well, I, we could just go give the lost guy some good news. Yo. Mm-hmm. The way is clear now. You made your own path? You are amazing, my guy. Oh, uh, sorry for shouting. Thank you so much. Better hurry back. I'm sure my friends are worried sick. Oh, but I still want to give you a proper reward. Try by Katakata Bazaar when you get a chance.
reunited. I'm so glad you're safe. Oh. This young man saved your life. We all owe him for that. Though no matter how many times I hear it, I still can't believe anyone survived falling into a sinkhole. As the leader of the caravan squad, allow me to thank you for bringing Pontos back to us. Oh. And as a reward... <laughs> how about this orb, my guy? It has a weird pattern on it, and it's probably rare, right? Whatever it is, you know it's cool. Trust me, I'm a merchant. I got an eye for things like this. Oh. I know someone in Gerudo Town is on the lookout for stuff like this, so I was going to see if they could appraise it. But I'll let you have it, my guy. It's the rarest thing I've got, and it's all yours. Take good care of it for me. <gasps> Why? Aww. <laughs> Thank you. Roasted, 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 and there's like five of these awful's tail. Who's that lady? Why is there two treasure chests next to you? What should I see? Sabah! I mean, Saf Sabah! That was close. If the other hurts me, they definitely chew me out for using slang on duty. Sark for fighting alongside us. Oh, I mean, Sark so. With sand out cleared away, supplies can reach the town again. Help yourself to a bow and arrows. My mentor has entrusted me with what feels like an impossible task. She said to stylishly decorate a weapon, but I just don't know how to approach this request. She told me to make it sparkle, and that it must radiate burning passion. But I don't know what she's talking about. And on top of that, she's got an allergy to monsters, so that means monster parts won't do. If I just had a weapon I could use as a reference to for where to start, that would help a lot. Decorate with passion. Thank you. And a good little bowl. It has to be with passion. Sparkle? And burning passion. Well, that doesn't sparkle. Good luck. Let's see. A weapon that sparkles. I'm guessing it has to... A fresh weapon from the deaths. And that way must be for the where the Yiga clan hideout used to be. Hey. Hydro melon oil jars. The last time I checked, hydro melons are Oof. That's too much. Glad I got wings. Hello. Hi. Well, good luck. Dear me, I accidentally combined good day with good good sabak there. Okay, you're just gonna keep saying everything. As for me, I've grown fond of this oasis. I plan to bring my family here so we can live our lives in this place. You have a family? Uh. My wife runs a general store in Riedel Village. I'm not one to brag, but she's the most beautiful lady you'll ever see. Our son runs a store of, of his own in some town or other, but I'm not entirely sure of all the details. The town itself was apparently established fairly recently in Northeast Hyrule. As you might imagine, the two of them stay very busy. So maybe some time before we all live together again. At the end of the day, this is where I have chosen to nest. Good vork, old home. Goodbye, I meant goodbye. I just mixed it up with the good word Savork. Okay. We'll just... I set up a pin here.
there's a pin right there. That's a tower that I've yet... No. A shrine that I haven't even popped yet. Oh, but let's just... Give our report to Pura. Is it true? From here. What's happening? Everyone's been saying Princess Zelda might be in Hyrule Castle, but... I mean... Princess Zelda? How did you get way up there? To think that she might be somewhere so dangerous. I'm frustrated with myself that I couldn't do anything. And this guy is just training. Word on the street is that Princess Zelda's been sighted at Hyrule Castle. It's crucial that I get training in wherever I can, so I'm ready to go if I get sent out in a search party. Cool. Oh, everyone is noticing it. There is a commotion. Scorpus. There you are. I was waiting. Could you please horror her over to Pura? She's using a telescope to search for the princess. Okay. Nice. The four clans are united. Hey, it's President Yonable's friend. Listen to this. Alright, Princess Zelda might be in Hyrule Castle. But it's tough to see it from here. Miss Poro is so lucky with that fancy scope of hers. Mm. Our hands are a bit tied with her in a place like... Like that? Hmm? Oh. What is it? I'm thinking right now. If you want Pora, she's up above. Don't be so hasty to climb after her that you miss a rung, okay? <laughs> Though we may have laid ass to Princess Zelda's whereabouts, I cannot assist in any meaningful way. How shameful. My joints are so weak at this point that I cannot even reach the telescope where Pora is located. Go talk to Pora. Alright, fine. Maybe I'll fly there again. What's up, Hearth? Oh, hey, Link. Have you heard? Apparently, Pora spotted a figure within Hyrule Castle. I flew off as soon as I could to try to see who it might be, but I wasn't able to discern anything, unfortunately. It must have been a false alarm. I got so worked up thinking it might be Princess Zelda. No, she's not. I'm pretty sure that's Ganondork using her image. I still don't under I still don't understand what that thing does, but maybe Poro could tell us about it. Or Joshua. That's if we actually go after Koga. Ooh, hello, Dommy Mommy. Yeah. Linky! I've heard what happened. The Mayor Cold Front has descended upon the Rito, and the Marble Rock Rose that the Gorons couldn't get enough of. Then there was sludge contaminating the Zora's water. And finally, the Gerudo menaced by Gibdos and the Sand Shroud. You face some serious challenges, and you overcome all of them. Well done, Link. So, the person resembling Princess Zelda was behind the scenes for all of the phenomena, as you discovered. This has to be related to the upheaval somehow. And I have something important to share as well. Hmm? Blood Moon.
That's not our Zelda. Your Highness. There was gloom effects. Huh? Linky, did you see that? That was a princess, wasn't it? I was going to share that I saw a figure that looked an awful lot like Princess Zelda at Hyrule Castle. I wasn't sure at first, but now I am. I thought she left the castle entirely, but she was inside. We had to hurry and rescue her. Soldiers and I can't reach Hyrule Castle as it is now. You might be the only one who can do it. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, Link. I know I'm always throwing you to something, into dangerous situations. But you really are the only one to the task. Please come back in one piece. That applies to both you and the princess. Got it? Regional phenomena completes. Soldiers and I, uh huh, okay. Feeling easy about this, why the princess appears so suddenly right now specifically. Hmm, okay. Yeah, the music did change. But before we go over there, I'm gonna need to... Well, try to find out where the dragon is. Oh man, these ugly looking... Ugly looking things. These are the constructs. Yeah, these are the boop noodle. Farouche, Nadra, Dinral. Where is she? Oh, here she is. Now, if only the target sensor were to show on a map of where she is. Another blood moon? Aha, uh -huh, there's a pin right there and a pin all the way over there. That's all the way to the desert. Now, I don't see the boob nodal everywhere. Where is that boob noodle? And of course, there's a matter of the lost woods, and looks like it's covered in shrouds. is already open.
in here. Second gatehouse. Yeah, you are definitely not Zelda. I don't even have the Master Sword with me. Huh. Huh. Now we go to the third basement, really? I accidentally left the castle. B1, B2, and B3. Is it accessible this way? Oh. Can't be carrying electrified stuff. junk. That one it seems interactable. Never been this far before. 
Fuck you, Nox. Ebony Hinox. Shock roots aren't working. <laughs> Ebony Hinox Horn. Hmm. Only has the attack power level twenty seven. about to break. It's gonna pick up that royal. Make some room. Royal, royals. What is this? I think it's a treasure chest for a royal outfit. Oh, no. It's a Dinroll Spike. Hopefully you are what I'm looking for, the King's Study. Royal Guard's boots. Nice. Royal Broadsword. What shield is attached to this again? The Gerudo shield. Yeah. Why can't I take that out here? Come on. There we go. I'll take that instead. Soldier's bow. Nope. I don't need that. This is Princess Zelda's room, and we already explored there. And that's where we found the royal chest. But where is the, where, where will we find a cap at? We'll figure that out. 
We'll run into it eventually. No sword. Not gonna use a Lizafo's tail, especially that one, since I can already imagine it will be used for a really good cooking. No. No, not the Frog's Fang either. Something that I got too much of. These things. Better than nothing. No secret rooms to pull. Let's just move on. this yeah I guess it's a world tour around Hyrule and I see these ebony horribleins are there. That's a good time to collect some horns. Now, I don't know why these guys are not finishing him off, just... Guess I always gotta do everything myself, huh? Nice. Plenty of hammerheads. Down it goes.
castle being won, we just climb, climb, climb. Then again, that like like has treasure. Guards bow. I have one. Low durability, though. Man, I got so many good bows. I, I'm just gonna have to leave it there. This is a Zonai bow. Wow. Level 30. This one is level 24. There we go. Say no to free arrows. Your room. You're gonna need this. Any other horns in this room? Cause I could really use upgrade materials for the fairy. Nope, all right. So where is that dot pointing towards now? Back down to B3. Skeletal of Princess Zelda study. From there. This armor is noisy. Come on. Side on, why you gotta disturb the room? Okay, never mind. This is where we gotta be, actually. So it's attached to that shield, okay.
Come on. Gonna miss that on the silver ebony, actually? No, it's fine. Bring him over here. Oh. Silver Moblin Horn. Nice, Moblin Guts. Why is this stick there? And where does this go? B3? At the other side of the castle. Where is this? Still alive, are you? Thought I would knock you out. Then there it goes. Really? Why can't I just reflect it? <laughs> Oof. Thing wiggling back and forth like that, I won't be able to make a shot. Okay, so that descends down. Live and let live, as they say. <laughs> Bottles everywhere! Where is the splash fruit? That's one dead, like, like, go. Oh, of course, it would be a shield. A 
royal shield. I don't need this anymore. So get reflected back. I won't say no to that. Let's see, I've used the Zora minecart to that shield, and that is a shield of the Shika. This one, well, it served its purpose. Kill you over the edge, cause I need your arrows. Right there at the sanctum. for you to arrive. Now, Link, there is something here I want to show you. <laughs> what do you think? Hyrule Castle. Perfect and glorious. Does it awaken memories? Memories of our time here? Nope, you don't fool me. Well, really take in every detail. After all, this place... ...will be the last thing you ever see. Phantom Ganon. I already destroyed you once, I'll do so again. Oh, what is this? Yep, 
You gotta listen to the audio cues. Boom, that's one. Wow, he's dropping a lot of his weaponry. Riju! Ow! Come on, Riju! Nice. Yep, that's another Ganondorf sword. How could two copies exist at the same time? But then again, they are shades. No more, no less. Oh, nice, I got this. Nom 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 nom. Delicioso! Let's go! I left myself open. Okay, that is the attack that you all should be careful of. That. If he raises his arm above his shoulder slightly, the red spinning attacks like that, that's undodgeable. Undodgeable, I mean unblockable. You could just, you know, jump out of the way and you'll be fine. Look, I got greedy. Nice. Come at me, bro. Oi! Oi! That got me, that got me. It didn't hit me that much, though. Not like for the other dude. Don't mind me helping myself. That pose. That always gets me. Oh, there we go. Three more. Five against one. Okay. And now it's infecting the place with gloom. I'm stuck! Really? Where did my weapon go? Ow. That was amazing! What is that? Gloom Club. Ah, oh, it's Ganondorf's two-hander. 
Oh, and I can pick it up. Cool. That's also another two-hander. Gloom Spear. Just as the name implies, you try wielding a Gloom weapon, it will infect you. Phase three. I just get started. Come on. It seems there is more to you than the power Rauru has gifted, but not much more. Sitting crisscross applesauce. Was that the Demon King we were warned about? It all really happened? This is Dyer, the Demon King, the man who nearly destroyed the world, Ganondorf. With his return, everyone's in danger. Oh, this isn't good. If that really was him, we're in real trouble. Hold on. He must not be at his full strength. Otherwise, why flee instead of finishing us off? We should return to Lookout Landing and decide what to do next. Link, you should come too. A piece of heart. Yep. 
I'll take a picture of that. They're already categorized, except the clubs. That's another Gloom Sword. There. Categorized. They're all categorized. Now, what does that say about that? A metal stick filled with madness and symbolic of doom. Its forceful strike can smash an object to pieces. Its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. <gasps> well, I am holding it, but I'm not feeling anything. Not yet, though. This bow is damaged. It's about to break. I already got the Demon's King bow right here. Huh. That's it. We're done. I could just warp over there instead. See, the rest of the crew are here. You're protecting Look at Landing and not just lazing around, right? We're doing a good job. We only laze sometimes. <laughs> King Sidon, are you hurt? Ah, of course not. Not a single scratch has marred these fins. What a bro. I'm glad to see you're safe, Lady Riju. Of course. You didn't always worry about me, Boliara. You've grown bigger while I've been away, haven't you? Stop treating me like I'm some little kid. Those injuries on your wings. It's a sign of the times. You clearly have been doing more than your fair share, haven't you, Tallinn? Zyri. And that's a Zonai rock she's studying. <laughs> she doodled her glasses. <laughs> Putting her glasses in a Shika statue? I mean... It's a frog statue. Yep, and this is her bed. Nah. Okay, let's deliver our report. Yes. Welcome back. Looks like it was pretty tough. So, how did it go?
I see. So, to summarize, there is no mistaking what you all saw at the castle was a demon king from the Legend of the Imprisoning War. And the princess you've been seeing was actually an imposter. Hey, Mish, I see you. And the reason she appeared at Hyrule Castle was so the Demon King could lure Link into the trap. I knew something seemed weird. I mean, about Princess Zelda not doing anything to help with these troubles everywhere in Hyrule. But it's all connected. The upheaval. The problems our homelands have been facing. The fake princess. It's all happening because the Demon King came back. So that means that Princess Zelda isn't actually here? Instead, she's in the distant past, and not in the present, right? Hmm. Yes, we should consider that to be the case, bizarre as it sounds. It all seems that Princess Zelda was trying to somehow defeat the Demon King in the past. Hmm. Our ancestors made a vow to Zelda. They swear that when the Demon King was revived, their descendants would awaken as sages and fight alongside Link. But with Princess Zelda in the past, we can't ask her what the plan is supposed to be. And she can't be here to fight with us either. We also don't know anything about the Demon King other than the fact that he's bad news and super strong. What do we do? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Based on what you each have told me, it appears the princess was making preparations in anticipation of the Demon King revival in this area. There must be some hints we still haven't figured out here in our time. Right you are. We cannot afford to stand still at a time such as this. It is imperative that we act. Mm. But without any leads... Mm. Oh, wait! You said the Six Sages were with King Rauru when he fought against a demon king during the imprisoning war, right? Wind. Fire. Water. Lightning. And time, that was a princess. Oh! Wow. I see. What is it? What do you see? That's it. There was one more sage back then. Mineru. Exactly! One more sage that might be here now. I'm sure this is a lead we were looking for. This will be well worth our while to search. Each of you awaken as sages at ruins from the Age of Legends, right? Maybe the remaining sage is in a similar location. That makes sense. So we should search major ruins from the Age of Legends. They're as good as places as they need to start. If we just search all of High will randomly, we'll probably never find a sage. Ah. Alright, we have a plan. Let's split up at the work and get to it. Yeah. You four go back to your homelands and gather information about ruins that might be related to the remaining sage. Linky, search around and see if you can find any other undiscovered leads. Huh. Everyone's relying on you. Don't let us down. <laughs> yep. Find a fifth sage. We had to protect Hyrule, no matter what. Princess Zelda wanted that. But the Demon King's power is a force to be reckoned with. So for now, we have to search for the fifth sage. Following the upheaval, I mobilize a Zonai survey team and investigate ruins connected to the Zonai. But so far, we found nothing about the fifth sage. There must be some clue hiding out there that we haven't yet found. I can feel it. Okay. We need to thoroughly investigate the ruins from the Age of Legends once more. Well, there's, um... There's this place. Fauron. But in all honesty, there's nothing here that gives us clues of who the fifth sage is. And yet, there's a matter of this. 
it's going to be at the Thunderhead Isles. There's that. And of course, there's a whole bunch of these things too. The last time I checked, Fallen Rocks fell on top of that, so let's just go. Yep. Four out of four temples. Guess what that means, chat? Elite monsters will be spawning more and more and more. We're sure going to be busy. Aw, poor Korok is lost. As always. Is that... Lake Illuminani. I never done that one. Yep. Someone down there? Ultra Ball Hall check in? Hey there, kid! Not hard to sleep in on a nice morning like this. That must mean you got a hankering for Ultra Ball Hall, am I right? What's that? What's with the blank stare? You never heard of the super popular habit forming Ultra Ball Hall? I guess that figures, since I'm the only one who's ever played it. Thought of a ball on my lonesome. <laughs> Rules are simple. Carry the ball as far as you can before the time runs out. It's up to you how you carry it. Put it on a cart, lug it with your arms, whatever works. Careful though. Lose that ball and you lose the game. But the farther you take it, the better your reward, so make sure you hustle. So how about it? Yes, okay. <laughs> I see you, flower. It's a cart. The 
the wheels are pointing that way. As you drop ball, drop ball, yes, drop ball. <laughs> oh man, I want to watch that episode again. No, not yet. There's a rocket that I saw. There you go. Who knows, it might be a bit too much. Okay. Hey, you kid, are you ready? Let's go! Oh, shit! Actually, it's fine. Look. I gotta get a bigger battery. <laughs> And the time's up. Yeah, took the ball for a grand total of 432 meters. Amazing, you got the ball far? I knew you were a special kid. That was a ball haul for the ages. Now here, this is for you. 50 bucks. Okay. Pretty good, kid. So good that I'll let you try the extended course, where you got twice as much time to play. Give it a try sometime. I want to see what you can really do. Okay. Ugh. Gisa Crater. You know, I'm just going to be looking for Zelda. Wherever she is. Courage Sky Island. Oh, look at that. There's another piece right here.
Lindor's brow, that just takes me back. Now, I've never been to that certain spot before. There's a zone I treasure right there. And another one. Nice. I'll take that. Three reds and a silver. Alright. What we can do for now is just go visit Kolga. I mean, I know there's treasure over there in that pool, but the next Blood Moon, another one will spawn. It doesn't matter. Now, what boop noodle is that? What did it just? Um, that's kind of weird. East Gerudo Sky Archipelago. Anything down there? Nope. It's pointing towards this way, where a shrine would be. Uh-huh. There it is. It's gonna be asking us to look for a crystal.
Man, is this even going to make it? No, I don't think so. I don't think so, eh, Rakuda? I probably am gonna make it towards the tip, maybe? <laughs> We made it! Oh, how convenient! Shrine is right there. And that is a Molduga. Now, if only I had my... I hear that. Alright, what am I doing? Tablet in ancient Hyrulean. Here we go. There. Are you up here? Piece of the sky piece. Oh, you're under there. Oh, never mind. <laughs> now, where is the sand fishy? Well, no use to worry about that. See Wakama Shrine. Let's solve this. Moving the spheres. If I leave it like that, the game will record it for like about one, two, three. Then it falls and slips over. Oh, wait! What is this? No. There's something right there. E. 
Yeah, just like I thought. You use a weapon and it infects you with gloom. It's a good thing we're in a surface den. See, I try to do it this way. Mm -hmm. You just roll it, push it like this. Well, you know, that could work too. Yep. Big brain. That's a Molduga, but I can't fight it without a Waris. Farouche. That's Farouche. Spectacle Rock. This is Spectacle Rock. Oh. Can't pick, take a picture from this angle. But yeah. gonna dive right into his bolt hole because we still gotta go after Kolga. <laughs> Whoa, it's so dark down there. Ah, there it is. And we just had to drop right into frocks. Okay. Hey, there's a light route over there. Ooh. We can't be using gloom weapons here. Oh, 
Oh, it's guarding a mother load. Look at that. Do I have any other sledge type of weapons? Not really. Where's the ebony moblin horn that I saw? Ah, to wake. Where did it go? That was a miss. No death, I mean, no hit run. Let's go. There, now they got two frogs tooth. I could use that to upgrade it, I guess. Those froggies are so easy. Now the real question is, where did that horn go? <laughs> yeah, I think the monster ate it. New hammer. That's a light route. And another one. Yeah, there is a way for me to get across that gloom. Mm-hmm. Where are my rockets? Oh. Well... Light route activated. Hmm. Hmm. Is anyone over there? That's a light route in the distance. And another light route over yonder. Both left and right. Bye, we're going that way. Yeah, statues. They're pointing that way. Baby froggies!
still gotta go after Master Cold Guy. Because if we let him live for too long, he's gonna be a problem. Imagine us fighting Ganondorf, we kill him, I was like, Yeah, GG to us! And Master Koga, he goes dynamic injury and drop kicks us. Oh, another froggy. You know, I'm gonna take another one on. Oh, no, not that. A time bomb? That doesn't make any sense. GG, easy. Yep. Zelda, Monster Hunter, I'll kill them all. Except a Lionel, cause fuck that. Listen, I really hate Lionels, okay? I don't ever want to fight those things. <laughs> Just one? That looks like a Zonai facility. We're getting close. Yep, that's what the Zonai rocket does. Electrify, Kieses, Baka blends. Yep, it's a monster mining operation. Okay, a weapon that sparkles, and something with passion. Oh. No reason to keep that. There. Sparkle!
that way. There's gloom everywhere. That's a gloomy route. My route is... What? Another lie route over there. And it's close by! Wait. How exactly did I miss that back there? A stall knox. Hello, Puff Shroom. Really, Tolan? Are you gonna aggro that? Getting closer. room.
It'll be much easier if I were to ascend through here. Another spirit offering me a weapon. Sure are a lot of pose here. Stall horses. dare you. <laughs> Let me ride your horsey! Underground cemetery. <laughs> I love you, even though you're dead. The Gerudo Underground Cemetery. This is where Kogai is. Really? Aww. You want, you want me to ride you? Okay. I am pretty sure the hair on its tail is artificial and it's not real. Huh. Yep. Get out a weapon! And it's in perfect condition! And I cannot carry anymore. That is such BS. Again, we don't need this gloom sword. We don't need it. These look like the bones of an old leviathan. Now, where would be an entry point to this? Right there. The Desert Coliseum. And there's a matter of that. Uh-huh.
Definitely Coliseum. Enemies in a draft stop drop Zonite. Cool. This is a royal halberd. Ah, no. Get back down here. There we go. Poke you in a butt. Now that's new. Ooh, it's silver. And what is that it's carrying? That looks like... It's the entire party! Silver Harblin Horn. Ooh. It's pointed. But I'm not so sure if that also counts as a hammer. Broken. Wee, that almost got me. Eh, you just lit yourself on fire. You dumb dumb. <laughs> Goodbye, Baco Spear. Happy hello. Jeez, to that. Ah, uh, let's see. It is 11.24. It is still Tuesday. Yep. Thank you, nevertheless. How is your evening going so far? Been seeing all the TikTok vids you've been posting, and... I am inspired to make some. was playing around with that app, and yes, I mean, I'm only throwing my clips on there for now. I mean, even my nieces have been telling me, why don't you just be a, a TikTok dancer? I mean, you could still dance, and I'm like, hmm, I'm not so sure. Whoa, what? Sheik's mask? A mask said to have been worn by a Shika who saved the time-traveling hero, made from the finest of Shika stealth fabrics. It is a final word in undercover gear. Wow. Look at that. Sheik's mask.
Yup, look at that. It complements the stealth armor. That is freaking cool. Alright, let's just see what you say. West Coast, Best Coast, that's right. That is where all the raves happen. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to go for the, the next one that's coming up in November. Did my horse just die? Where's my zombified horse? Oh, it, it, it despawned. Oh, well. Yep, going well. You had a migraine for almost three days now. Just trying to rest. Oh, I hope you feel better. And yes, you really got to do find your niche in TikTok. Now, of course, a popular app like that, it's always going to be having freaking bozos just telling you shit, acting so hard behind the screen, and in real life, they're such cowards. <laughs> So funny, one of the TikTok teenagers tried to bully me and then he deleted his own comment. It's like, aww. You had trolls remorse? That's too bad. Yeah, but other than that, I had positive comments like, wow. So amazing that you adapted your hands so well to the controller. It's like, yep, yep, yep. The underground cemetery. So many Gibdos everywhere. Rest in your head. Cool. Those sarcophagus had got something in it. Shock fruit to the head kills him. Ooh, what's in here? Nice. That's what I want. Puff shrooms, puff shrooms. Boom. like it that enemies in the death drop Zonite. That's another pull. Look at that. They're just pain resistant. Oh no, I missed. That would have been a headshot. Well, at least I cleared out the squatters. Fine if it's age, yep. We already got all the four temples, and now the game is moving up forward. We gotta find the fifth sage, whoever that is. 
Where exactly is Master Kolga? Okay, here it is. He's... It's just further north. Yep, I just took a detour. No more, no less. Yeah, that's a gloomy root right there. You don't want to touch that. Jump. Whoa, oh, man, it's so more dark and spooky. Oh, no, not this one. A sleeping heat ox. It's pointing... Wait. A flux construct. I see the light root over there, so let's tap that. Man, these motobots are so great. If you ever find yourself overwhelmed, just throw Motobot at a tough monster and the monster will get confused and start swinging at random. Yeah. Yep, it really helps too. You don't gotta waste your weapon's durability or anything like that. You just toss that in a monster and you let it do the work. Until it expires and you throw it in its face again. Gotta collect these things. Oh, hey, it's you. Come here, horsey. I just jacked your horse. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. It's a rich deposit here. Don't mind if I do. This one's about to break, but not this one. A Zonai facility. Really? You're just gonna ignore me? Um. Come on, Ulick. Come on, horsey. I thought we were cool. Yeah. <laughs> 
Whoa, don't just stand there. I try to push the buttons. It's a mining operation. Might as well just clear it out. Might as well. Why can't I just make a headshot? Okay, here we go. Oh, even froggies are joining the party. That is chaotic. Now, if it's one thing that I am known for, is being great at managing chaos. Both in game and in real life. Can you believe that? Ow! Yeah, it even moves out of the way. Okay, I got an idea. Yeah, I'm gonna be real cheap about that, too. <laughs> it works! You know, it's just gotta be like Indiana Jones. Be, be smart. That guy showing off his sword skills, you just pull out your gun and shoot him in the chest. See, you're just freaking out, are you? What's in here? And there's a Yiga Clan's HQ. Where's the light roots? Got messed up there for a second. It's really easy to get lost in a dark place like this. I see something alone up there. That could be it. Yep, there it is. Tap that light root so I could recover my lost heart. So oh, it's so dark here. Here we go. I just feel like watching this little cutscene. Hearts recovered, so 
Chili fish skewer. Chili mushroom skewer. Wait, these are just sun. I thought I was looking at something else. Here we are. By effect, by effect, okay. I never seen those before. Those red things. Abandon Gerudo Mine. I'm hungry. All this turnover has led to a supply shortage in the base. Do you know how hard it is to find a banana? The deaths are a complete wasteland. Nothing around here seems in the least bit edible. You think that everyone would take that seriously and respect the ingredients and food stock, but no. That wretched new recruit ate a whole shipment of bananas the moment I took my eyes off of them. From now on, I'm keeping my own supply. Glory to Master Koga. <laughs> oh my god, just how brainwashed are these losers? Hey, Koga, how you doing? Come on, do something! Hmm? It's the right hand, right? So, why isn't this working? You back there, take over for a while. Huh? It's you again! So, Link, you just had to follow me here, didn't you? I'm doing what you did. Exactly, but it refuses to work. You tricked me! I won't stand for this! You wasted some of my time, but no more. I'll battle you. I'll beat you. And I'll steal that power back from you. Prepare yourself! Okay. Ah, huh, so that's what you're going for. That dropped his health really quick. Now where is that loser? There he is. Bounced off. And it's over. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Bleh. This place has too much sand. You're only winning because it keeps getting in my eyes. So I'm gonna let you off easy again. That hunk of junk construct wasn't responding anyway. Change of plans. Operation Steal the Ancient Power is over. I quit! I thought that power might make things easier, but it's just icing. I'm after cake. We've been collected a mighty power source scattered all across this land. Crystallized charges. And we're gonna use them to restore unstoppable weapon for the man himself. The Magnificent One. Once we do, we'll grant his wish for the end of the world. So we don't need the power you stole. Our collection of crystallized charges is well underway. And a restoration of the final weapon is close at hand. We've already stripped all the resources here. If you want this empty shell, you can have it. I'm going to be swimming in crystals at the Eastern Abandoned Mine. Now away I fly, he goes. Oh my god, that guy's a trip. He just told me his secret plans. Greetings. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I overheard your conversation. You spoke loudly enough that it was difficult not to. The Eastern Abandoned Mine that man spoke of is most likely the Abandoned Lanario Mine. It is extremely far from here. You will not find stone guideposts to it in this area. I suggest ascending to the surface first. You may be able to find a chasm leading there in the region to the east. There are two chasms in the region to the east that contain stone guideposts leading to the Abandoned Lanario Mine. I recall a chasm on land in the Lanario Wetlands. There is also one south of there in a mountain village. There is one other thing before you resume your journey. My associate over there manages schema stones. You may want to ask for one. Let's see, is this a banana? Oh, I'll take that. 490 crystallized charges. Guess what that means? I get to have four battery cells. Well, one more. Five, actually. Authorizer verified. Welcome. This was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. My task here is to manage the designs for mining equipment. Please hold one moment. I confirm that there is a schema stone that you do not yet have. Allow me to recidify that. Yay. It's a cart, stick, and a fan. Oh. I'll also prepare the parts required to test it via auto build. I am curious about one other thing. Do you know what auto build will do if you have insufficient parts? Yes. Excellent. Then please put the key schema stone I gave you to good use. There it is. No. Wow, that's really nice. Uh-huh. So is anyone manning the forge? Oh, wait, I just gotta wake it up first. Wakey, wakey! Forge Construct. Okay, go on. Please wait a moment. Get the forge running. Nice.
600. That means I get to process 600 of those ore. That cannot look healthy. Okay, so we cleared out the squatters. Where are those red poles that I've been seeing? Those things, what are they? Doesn't seem hostile. I mean, I see blues, greens, and reds. How much are the reds are worth? A grand po. 20! Is that a... Oh no, not this high. Yep, that's a statue pointing towards a refinery. And that is a solitary Bakalin just chilling. Wait, what am I doing? Hovercraft is right over there. Sundalion. Oh, good. Sundalions are here. Mighty bananas. It's a shipping manifest. Free arrow. I mean, if the bananas are there, why can't we just take it? No, they're just there for show. Central mine. No, I'm not gonna warp there yet. I still got this hovercraft to test out. Oh! 360. We got stuck. <laughs> right, that's a flux construct right there. You're going. Nah. 
I'd rather deal with that later. There's a lie root over there. But did we already? Yes. Things I've got to be so tall. I just want to easily ascend them. I don't see any light roots nearby. That's where he is, huh? So there is a butthole there, and a butthole there. I have not popped that shrine. Nope. Uh. Oh, hang on a minute. I got food to cook. A car citadel ruins. That would be where the hands are. You know what? I have disposable Zonai oven, so I don't need that. Korok puzzle! that. Nope. Oh, there it is. Yeah, ha ha. Bye bye. Goodbye to you too. Oh, it's too slippery, I can't climb. 
Well, out, Link, what are you doing? The ground is not your enemy. Akala Parade Ground Ruins. Here we go. Light route. There's another light route there too, is there? Yes. Oi! That's not what I want to do. Um, it's safer that we just float down. Otherwise, I may end up breaking my legs and using up a ferry. Here we are. Light route. Okay, so we head south. Well, what kind of facility is this? It's another Zonite facility. That's convenient. That's it. doing link Grand pose, and there's very likely something down. Whoa, it's a large patrol. Really? There's obviously Zonai treasure, and that guy is guarding it. Ha. <laughs> huh. What kind of place is this? It won't say unless I go down there and aggro everyone.
Gotta do is just get out of here and go south. Travelers Claymore. <laughs> Supposed to be heading south. Yes, we are. and spoopy, so I might as well just wear the lights so that beast of the dark won't bite us in the butt. Yep. That's another... Actually, that looks like an arena-style thing in Virginia where you kill a boss that you already fought again just for a drop of some sort. That's a long drop. Light route is right over there. Say no to Zonite or And we made it in time. We made it, we made it. Yes we did. Fireflies. Tap this. We nage. There we go. Now, who is over there? Yeah. Zoras. That's a mutt to rock. Yeah, that's the <clears throat> that annoying little thing that we fought in the water temple. 
And I gotta say is that is my least favorite boss of this game. Right above there? Yes. Oi! What are you doing, Link? More like, what are you doing, streamer? Did I already activate that? Yes. Actually, I could just... Climbing for the win. And the path is, of course, obstructed with gloom. What is this place? Might be able to send through here. Nope. I don't see no suitable ascension points. Yeah, served me well. They're both destroyed. It's gonna be a long climb. Actually, see the ceiling of the deaths. Maybe this is a mountain that is supposed to just be in your way. Yeah. Looks like I'm gonna have to go around this. From the looks of it, yeah. Go around it. Oh, there it is. The only known way to enter the deaths is through chasms. After the upheaval, many chasms appeared across Hyrule. When navigating the deaths proves too treacherous, try leaving and returning through a different chasm. To fully conquer the deaths, we must find every entrance. Unfortunately, locating chasms is not always straightforward. It is rumored, for instance, that a chasm has somehow opened inside a cave. Surely this is not the only concealed entrance. There may be even holes that do not seem to be chasms at first glance. But take heart. The gloom that leaks from these pits acts as a beacon, and most can be seen from above. 
Glory to Master Koga. So, where is that guy who is a huge trip? Oh, there he is. And there's a light route right there. He's gonna be there for quite a while. So it's going to be water-based. Let's go ahead and activate this. Alright. Hello, you weirdo. We meet again. What exactly is Sheik's mask on um, level two? Man, that defense is low. It's cool as it is, but it's fine. We just gotta visit the Night Fairy. What? Hello again. Ugh. What am I doing wrong? Maybe my angle's off? No, that thing's still not working. Whoa! How long have you been there? Why, you little... Try to catch me off guard, did you? You... Cowardly sneak! Like I said before, my plan has changed. But we already mined up everything there is to mine around here. So what you saw was just, uh, you know. Why well, was killing time? So yeah, you get it. Anyway, I can't believe you followed me to another mine. Persistent little pest. In honor of our long-awaited reunion, I graciously allowed you to fight me one-on-one -on -one before. But right now, you're the last thing on my mind. Because the end is nigh! I've got things to do, so let's make this real quick. You got clan attack! You know, I'll take this if you're not using it. Thank you. Glory to you indeed, Master Koga.
Yes, sir, it's me well, Hammer. You, sir, it's me well, Spear. stick got wet so my hand slid no matter once again you're too late i already dug up all the crystallized hearts this place had to offer and there's more i just got word from my underlings that they located the man himself they found the demon king just one more step one teeny little step until the yiga clan's long-standing desire comes to fruition we have more than enough crystallized arches now. And there's only one more abandoned mine to ransack. <laughs> Hear me now, Link. It's time to start the final extraction. The northwestern abandoned mine awaits. That's where I'll use those charges to activate our ultimate weapon. Offer it to the Demon King and... Bring the world to its end! Our next encounter will be our last. You'll get yours, just you wait. This guy is such a trip, I swear. Greetings, it says. Thank you for eliminating the intruders. I was listening closely to the going-ons. The northwestern abandoned mine that man headed for is likely the abandoned Hebra mine. But there are a few chasms in Hebra by which to reach it. The path stretching from Hyrule Ridge that was previously used is no longer a viable route. Though I recall being there being a chasm somewhere that di connects directly to the abandoned mine. There is one other thing before you resume your journey. Yeah, talk to the other guy for a schema stone. Okay. Nice. Wakey, wakey. Authorizer verified. Okay, you already told me what the schema stones do. Mm-hmm. Bolt boat. Then we activate the forge. Nearly to 800. Yeah, I see you. Fuck! That was gonna cancel it since I saw side so unshot it. Got you.
Yeah, that must be why you wanted me to test a hovercraft. Oh. Huh. Yeah, 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 I knew that, I knew that. Now that is good for 800 charges. I mean, 8 charges to fill. So now the dude, I mean, the loser is at this North Lanario mine. And then the dude said that there is a hole that is directly connected to it that won't appear inside the cave. Hmm. Let's go refine the crystallized charges. And increase the battery storage. Hey, Joshua. Just want to give you an update. <laughs> Hi, Swordsman. Listen to this. I received new info about the Dats. Mm -hmm. We discovered another kind of statue, different from those that went to the southwest part of the Dats. These are the Lanario to the east. That region has many chasms. You'll find these edges at the bottom of two of them. One is on the land in Lanario wetlands. The other is in north in Kakariko Village. All these statues have a strong resemblance to the Zora. And these seem to lead toward the east. And after that, the investigators continue to follow those statues. Stone statues lead to directly beneath Zora's domain, and they discovered evidence of a civilization there. When we dug a little deeper, we learned that the statues in the southwest led beneath Gerudo Town. So I was thinking there may be a connection between the surface and the deaths. So I tried investigating the chasms in every region to follow my hunch. And then, we found a new chasm on a cliff face at Rito Village, in Habra to the northwest. Next, I'm thinking of having them check whether it's possible to go directly under the village from that point. I've been learning one thing after another about the deaths lately. It's gotten me super motivated. I'll keep gathering info about the deaths so that I can be useful to you, swordsman. Check back later, okay? I bet other people can feel that we're getting close to figuring out more about the princess. You and me, swordsman. I just know we can do this. Cool. Still at it, huh? Boss! Did you read in the paper that the Demon King has revived? Seems like the upheaval must have been an omen to that. Our research division has been grateful for the Zonai ruins falling down due to the upheaval. But if this world gets taken over by the Demon King, all this research would be the last thing we'd be concerned with. If only Zelda were here. Well, I'm still working on it, you know, looking for her. Got the stamina's and everything. Hello, broski. Yes, get producing. Nice. Now that's three completed battery cells. Here we go.
I refine your crystallized charges into eight energy wells. Nice. I would enjoy further visits from you. Up to you as well, my guy. So, Northwest. Somewhere around here, and yet there's... A chasm that's directly connected to... Well, there's actually a, a chasm right here. The Droko Pass, I never never bothered looking at that. Unbearable cold. Poor Link! Oh, snap! I already cleared the archipelago, but what's this right there? It's all the way to the top. Finding any caves here? Nope. This is just a wind tunnel, no more, no less. And yeah, I am aware that this is a Rito training ground, so they could fly around and shoot arrows, just like in Breath of the Wild flight range. Is there someone working here? Oh, wait! Hey, you! Oh, oh, oh! Hello there, Link. It's been a while, hasn't it? Teba told me about what you did. How, with your help, that wretched blizzard is finally lifted. What's more, I hear you looked after young Toll in every step of the way. You have my thanks and my admiration. For whatever an old bird's admiration is worth. Woohoo! As you no doubt surmise, I retired from my position as elder and entrusted the village to Tabba's leadership. Now I spend my days here, at the flight range, helping mold the next generation of Rito warriors. I regret to say that the blizzard ruined our old training equipment, but rather than to try to recreate the original course, I've taken this opportunity to repair a new one. In this course, Individuals will train their wits and agility by passing through a series of floating rings. My hope is that this will teach young warriors to fly more confidently, even in unfriendly skies. That said, no one has actually attempted to the course, as I only just finished it. Hopefully a brave volunteer comes along soon to try it out. Mind if I take your arrows? Oh, that archery set is left over for past training sessions. 
It's a shame they're simply collecting dust, but I have no other plans for them. You seem like someone who could put them to good use, Link. They're yours, if you want them. I already got that. Select for recipe. What do we got here? Sunny veggie porridge. Do I have all this in my hands? Yes, I do. <gasps> Wait, no! Can't be using the rice! What happens if I just cook just one? Plus three. Oh, so you're stepping up? You want to try my training course? What a surprise! Woohoo! And an honor! The rules are simple. You pass through as many floating rings as you can before time runs out. Oh, I don't stray too far, hmm? You'll be disqualified if you leave the flight range. Since it is your first attempt, I'll go easy on you. Let's say 15 rings is enough to earn a passing grade. Match that, and I'll give you fitting reward. All right, let's go. Ooh, 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 marvelous. I'll show you the starting position. All right, tell me. Ready? Then on your mark, get set. Oh, you cleared all the rings? Well done. Well done, Ling. You passed with flying colors. Woohoo! Do you have a pair of wings hidden under there? You set a high watermark for my trainings to aspire to. Clearly, I picked the right Hylia to get this course to spin. Please take this. Thank you. Cleared all the rings on your very first try? Astonishing. Link, you have proven you are ready for more of a challenge. I suggest you try the advanced course. Okay. What exactly is the advanced course? I want to know. Whoa. Set all the rings. Am I missing one? It's 32. Whoa. Nah, there was 35. Three more. Am I missing? 32 oh. rings. Fancy flying. Okay. It's a skirmish between those two. 
Or not. Zill and I are just guarding something. But what exactly? I'm not so sure. Quite generous. Lake Kilsi. Lake Totori. Then there's whatever that structure is. One of these structures. There has to be a chasm. Solitary rock. I see you. Yahaha! Bye bye. Look, oh, I was gonna drop the rock on your head, and I still do it. You want me to pop the roof right here? Okay. It has to fit, though. <laughs> hmm. Yahaha. Yeah, -ha. Bye. <sighs> Taco. She's playing Monster Hunter Generations. Cave system B. To side quest. Hello there. Hi. Hey, Link. 
Life in Rito Village is just about back to normal now. Who could have guessed that the blizzard that hit Rito Village was the work of the Demon King? Or that Princess Zelda was sent to the world of the past? No wonder we couldn't find her. The big thing left to do now is round up all the information we can find on the fifth sage. I'll do my part to turn up whatever I can about the ruins from the Age of Legends. Oh yeah, one other thing. Something else came up that I want to ask you about. Harth asked me to help him sort through some ancient literature. You'll never believe what I found written in one of his books. Sternita, Gulf Lamps, and Sure Fins. Hidden treasure sleeps in the center of the three secret hot springs in the mountains. Guide the three waters to that place. When it fills, slumbering treasure will awaken once more. There's gotta be something good waiting for whoever solves the riddle, right? Secret hot springs, huh? I've been to Sternita Secret Hot Springs a few times. It's Northwest Arito Village. <laughs> it's the best. A quick soak is enough to heal your wounds in a blink of an eye. It keeps you from freezing too. But I don't know about the others. The Hepper Mountains are a big place. I'm not sure we could cover all of them. But that slumbering treasure is pretty tempting. If only we could find it. Hmm. How about you, Teba? I was proud to bequeath my great eagle bow to my fully-fledged son, of course. But it does leave me without the bow I used for so long. An elder shouldn't go unarmed, so I'll be crafting myself another one as soon as I can. The bow I gave Talon was a masterpiece. After so many years of use, it was like another limb for me. But I think I have it in me to craft one just as good. If you're on your own, blah 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 blah, okay, what do you want? Five bundles of wood and three diamonds. It's always with three diamonds. Three diamonds this, three diamonds that. I mean, then again, it is a champion weapon. Champion weapon that breaks. Wait, no. It's not decayed, so it could work. And that's a newspaper. That's already a pop shrine. I've been... Six hours and 41 minutes. I never realized the time went so fast. It is 12.49. I'm gonna have to put my butt to bed, because oh my god. Oh, M.G. Well, chat. We may have gone a bit over schedule, but this is where I say good night. But worry not. We'll be reading out to someone. So let's see who is online. Stand by. We could always just chill and chat for a bit. While I look for someone to raid. Because, as eager as I am to keep going, I am already butt-tired. Who is here? Well, let's see if I could raid out to this person, because sometimes... Sometimes people have their raid channels closed. Okay, here we go! Caleb Hart 42 I know this guy. This dude is good. They're good folks. Right now they're playing Super Mario RPG 2. And... He's attempting to speed run. This dude is hilarious. So, you already know what to do, chats. Followers and sub emotes. So, you already know what to do. Copy paste either one of those two. The hype will be spread all over the place. So, with that being said, chat. Thank you so much for watching.
Good night. God bless. Bye-bye.